Welcome to another video of 40 Manager 4.3.3. Today we're going to talk about zone mapping uh, when you have B DOMs on your 40 gates. So let's get started. Uh, in the previous video uh, about uh, zones, we talked about uh, mapping uh, your policies and your zones to, uh, to particular ports. And uh, I use an example of just a, a normal uh, uh, 40 gate without any VDOMs. Uh, in this video, we'll talk about uh, using VDOMs along with the zone mappings. So let's take a quick look at, uh, at the following diagram here. This is very similar to the previous video. So we have our 40 manager up here. We still have our zones that we added from before. and. Uh, same policy, it would be in our policy package. Uh, this time what we will do is uh, uh, we'll have VDOMs on the 40 gate unit and we will assign uh, certain ports to, to each of the VDOMs. And uh, once we've assigned those ports then we can perform mappings of those ports to our different zones within each of the VDOMs. So you'll see here that in VDOM 1 I've mapped port 1 for example to internal and in VDOM 2 I've mapped port 2 to internal. And once you've uh, performed those steps and perform a, an install of the policy package those uh, ports, the internal in VDOM 1 and internal in VDOM 2 will be translated into uh, the following types of uh, policies on the 40 gate itself. So it, it'll translate the source zone into port 1 and the source zone into port 2 uh, in each of those VDOMs. So we'll go over a similar example to this diagram. So first let's uh, log into our 40 manager here. And uh, we'll go to our test uh, ADOM that I created before. So I've already added a new device here. It's this 48 BM2. And uh, this device has some VDOMs already added to it. So in case you don't know what a VDOM is, a virtual domain. Okay, so let's go take a look at um, uh, our policy and objects. That should be the same, same package as before. So this corresponds to the diagram in here. We've got our, our policy that we've added here. And uh, if we go to our objects, our zones are the same, internal, external, DMZ. Okay, so let's go to the device and we'll take a look at our new device that we've added. And I'll show you the networking interfaces here. So I've taken the liberty already of, of adding some of these ports into the different virtual domains. I've added uh, uh, port 2, 3, and 4 into a VDOM 1 and 5, 6, and 7 into VDOM 2. Uh, but it's very easy to add these, uh, these ports, these uh, physical ports into any VDOM. Just double click on it. And you can choose which virtual domain you want that uh, port to belong to. Okay, so we'll just cancel that for now. And so now, now that those are added to the appropriate virtual domain, so that covers this step here in our diagram. So we've added our ports or assigned the ports to the appropriate virtual domain. And next step is doing the mapping. So we're going to go down to our virtual domain and set up our zone mappings. So here's uh, VDOM1. We're going to show the unmapped zones. And here's the zones that we have from our policy and object section. So we can click on the plus sign here. And you'll notice here it only shows the ports that I assigned to this VDOM. 
So I'll choose, say, port 2 for our internal. And uh, you can choose to map all of them if you like, or you can leave it empty. And if you use it in a policy during the install stage, it'll also ask you to, uh, to map the zone at that time. We'll, we'll show an example of that later. Uh, let's go to VDOM2. Show the unmapped zones. Set this one as well. Say I said port 5. Okay, so now our zones have been mapped for those two VDOMs. So that covers this section here of the diagram. So we've done our mappings here. So let's go back. Okay, next, we'll go back to our policies and objects and our uh, policy package. Uh, one thing we want to do is add our new uh, device as a install target. So I just want to choose uh, VDOM1 and VDOM2. I'll leave the other one in there as well. We can install into that uh, other device at the same time if we like. And uh, so we'll hit apply. Okay, so we're all ready. Our, our uh, zones have been mapped, so we can choose to install this package now. So we'll choose install. We're using the default policy package. Click next. It's going to install to uh, our first feed on our first uh, 40 gate device and the other new one that we've added with that has the VDOMs. Next. So again, you can preview the uh, the installation, what's going to happen. So let's take a quick look at our uh, VM2 here. This has our VDOM installation here. And so this first section is showing where we added these uh, ports to the various VDOMs. So I moved port 2 into VDOM 1, port 3 is in VDOM 1, and so forth. And here's like port 5 added to VDOM 2. And we'll continue down here, and here is uh, <coughs> uh, right here is our policy. And it has done the translation in VDOM 1 of our source interface to port 2. That's what we did the internal mapping to for VDOM 1. And for VDOM 2, it did our translation to port 5. That's what we mapped uh, internal to for the, uh, for the second VDOM. Okay, so it all looks pretty good, so let's click Next and let it do the install. Okay, so it's finished installing to both those devices. And we can click Finish. Okay, so let's go take a look at the new device that has the VDOMs. And we can see that it's added in. Do read only. It's added in our new policy. So we'll go to VDOM1. We'll take a look at the policies. And here it is our port 2 uh, from to any source all, destination all, FTP deny. So that's VDOM1 and VDOM2 should be using port 5. So go to policy from port 5 to any all, all FTP and deny. Okay, so that worked. So as I mentioned before, if say we add a new policy in here. So click on the sequence number, create a new policy. 
and I choose my source zone as internal, that's fine. Any, if I do my destination zone, say external, schedule, I'll do say, say HTTP, we want to deny. Add that in. Okay, so I've added in external this time. Now, if I install this, and I ha I haven't mapped it on the in the uh, device manager here for that VDOM. So take a look at VDOM one for example. The zone mapping. Uh, we haven't mapped external yet. So I'm going to leave it unmapped and then we'll do the install and you'll see it'll prompt you for the mapping. Okay, so let's do our install. Next. Do those two. Okay, so it's failed the zone validation because on VDOM 1 VDOM 2 we haven't mapped external yet. So you can choose to do the mappings right from here. So just choose. I'm going to map, say, port 3 as my external for VDOM 1. And for VDOM 2, I'll map port 6. And then I'll click next. And you'll be able to continue with the installation. So that'll save you a bit of time if you've uh, forgot to map one of the uh, VDOMs or one of the interfaces uh, during the install, install phase. We'll click Next. Okay, so it's finished installing. So let's go take a look at the FortiGate. And we'll refresh this, uh, this page here. And you can see now, here is on VDOM2. It's got the, our new policy that we added, port 5 to port 6. Port 6 was the external that we had mapped it to. And if we take a look at VDOM2, VDOM1, policies, we have port 2 to port 3, so that's the external that we mapped there as well. HTTP, deny. Okay, so that seemed to work fine. So thanks again for watching. Uh, in the next version, we'll talk a little bit about using virtual LANs, VLANs, and how they're very similar to the VDOM mappings and how you can assign policies that uh, do the zone mappings with VLANs. Uh, see you next time. Thank you. Thank you.